Hey guys, welcome back to Food Tech Journey. Today we will be discussing about chilling and freezing. Most people get confused between chilling and freezing related to their temperature, product quality and other characteristics. So without further wasting time, let's start. Starting with introduction of chilling and freezing. Chilling basically means refrigerating the food like at our homes. It reduces food temperature to slow microbial and enzymatic activity extending shelf life for a short duration. Basically chilling is uh, done between 0 to 8 degrees Celsius depending on the food type. It is same as we refrigerate the food at our home for uh, a shorter period for a small shelf life next is freezing in freezing basically the temperature ranges between minus 18 to minus 23 degrees celsius sometimes below it also depends on the food characteristics or the food product we want to preserve it lowers temperature to below the freezing point that is Below the freezing point means below the freezing point of water because water molecules are in all the food products. So below 0 degree Celsius almost completely halting microbial activity allowing long term storage. In chilling the microbial activity is slowed down okay and in freezing the microbial activity is halted. Halted means stops. I hope the difference is clear over here. So principles of chilling are that the temperature range is between 0 to 8 degrees Celsius depending on the food type. It is ideal for short term storage of in, uh, dairy products like milk, curd, yogurt, fruits, vegetables and cooked meals as well. And the primary effects are that it slows down the growth of spoilage bacteria and pathogens. It reduces enzymatic reactions that cause spoilage of food products. So the shelf life ranges from 3 to 7 days depending on the food type and the moisture content in the food. Next is freezing. So the freezing is typically minus 18 degrees Celsius or below. It is ideal for long term preservation of food product. It is used for meat seafood like prawns, prepared meals, etc. The primary effects of freezing are that it stops the microbial activity though does not kill the microbes. Uh, please clear this that in freezing we are not killing the microbes. We are stopping the microbial activity. This difference should be clear in your mind because killing the microbes means sterilization or pasteurization these are the processes in which we are killing pathogens or spores so i hope the difference is clear over here it is significantly uh, used to slow down enzymatic reactions preserving food quality now we will discuss about the freezing process so this is the these are the freezing curve stages first stage is free cooling in free cooling the food temperatures brought down gradually it means the product temperatures is slow down then uh, there is water uh, there is moisture in the food products we all know that there is a lot of moisture in the food product depending on the food type so uh, water in the food reaches 0 degree celsius and begins forming ice crystals so it will begin forming ice crystals and then in subcooling stage, the temperature continues dropping after all water is frozen in the food product. So these are the three stages in which freezing occurs. Now there are two types of freezing in which ice crystal formation takes place. First is slow freezing. So in slow freezing what happens the product have a lot of time to freeze like it is a slow process. The product is gradually dropping down temperature. So the uh, water gathers and forms large crystals affecting 
texture of the product. Another process is rapid freezing. In this process, the amount of food contact time is very less, but uh, the temperature is uh, gradually drops down, leading to very small, small ice crystals in the food products. It is better for preserving food texture. So this is slow freezing and this is rapid freezing. Now, we will discuss types of freezing methods. So this is air blast freezer. As you can see in this diagram, it uses cold air circulated at high speed around the food items. It is efficient for individual items like berries, peas, momos and other products as well. Next is plate freezing. These are the plates as you can see in this freezer. Here the food placed between two cold plates like this is one plate, this is another. So product is uh, placed between two cold plates used for flat or packaged product. It is basically used for flat or packaged product. Next is cryogenic freezing. It utilizes very low temperature substances like liquid nitrogen or carbon dioxide. Extremely rapid. We all know it is vulnerable and extremely rapid. It is ideal for high quality texture preservation. It is used in food as well as pharmaceutical industries for preserving high quality of products. Now, what are the effects of food quality? So we know that in refrigerator, the shelf life is very less and the product spoils on the last day. Unlike on the last, after the last day or uh, it starts, uh, the spoilage starts on the last day or day shelf life of the product. But what about the uh, frozen product? So uh, there are some characteristics like texture. Some foods may become soft or mushy if frozen slowly due to large ice crystals. If the uh, fr freezing process is slow, then the large crystals will form leading to uh, this soft or mushy texture. It can happen with apple, other fruits, vegetables. Next is nutrient retention. Nutrient retention means the rapid freezing minimizes nutrient loss, preserving vitamins and minerals. Uh, that are mostly uh, killed in slow freezing. Next is color and flavor. Generally well preserved if freezing is quick. It means rapid freezing is the best frozen method to preserve and quality and to improve shelf life. Otherwise color changes like browning may occur. These are some of the chilling and freezing equipment. These are big 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 chillers that are used and for commercial refrigeration for controlled chilling environments the mechanism is same as the refrigerator at your home it's just these are used for commercialization this is blast freezer it is uh, it uses high velocity air to quickly freeze products it is also used for a uh, commercial uh, purpose this is cryogenic freezer it is specialized for extreme rapid freezing essential for high quality preservation industries thank you very much guys for watching the video if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section you can ask on our instagram handle or you can mail us on foodtechjourney at the rate gmail.com keep spreading the content guys and help us in growing and reach the ones in need thank you very much for watching the video